this is a um, well, no, so this is my definition of growers love. Um, well, this is what I love doing. I love growing. I mean, I love growing everything. I love gardens. I love growing gardens. I love growing vegetables. These are on you. These are for beans we popped the, uh, the last bit. It's we been did. quite a stressful week because um, yeah. this first one came through fine. Under, I had them under the new new light, which is on this juice unit took over. That first one came through fine. It's really happy. The bigger one on the same day, later in the day, these two came through. One first and one later. But they got really, they got really burnt and de dehydrated and shriveled up. And the next morning they looked dead. Yeah, so, we, we thought we'd kill them without no light. And so um, I actually didn't have this in here to propagate, so I didn't have that in here. Because that bean that's then that's come through today, that's that was propagating still, uh, that hadn't come through. Well, I got it. Yeah, you got oh, it. So managed, I put coke lids on these and managed to revive them. And I still wasn't perfectly happy with them. And yeah, this the LSD that one that's just yeah the LSD through. that came through today yeah that um this is a pineapple I'm introduced to yeah <laughs> that's the ice grapefruit ice grapefruit pineapple, pineapple chunk, chunk blue angel, blue angel LSD. and LSD so um yeah the LSD didn't look like it really had a tail it had a little tiny tail so I chucked it in anyway. And so these two are had trouble while so we had to sort of revive these and and then the LSD it just wasn't nothing had nothing coming up. I mean it's been a week really, isn't it? Yeah. So today or last night I thought shit I'll put these in these because I was still worried about these two and they look fine now, but these were really dehydrated. They're small and they look shriveled up, we thought they were dead. Yeah. Basically. So I put so I put them in here and I put that in as a last sort of thing of hope and it's actually come through so really happy about that although I've still got a bit of it's been stuck to it and stuff I'll let it sort itself out tonight if it's not I'll sort it out tomorrow and I'll rinse it off and stuff but I think it will come through tonight on its own it'll you know get the seed husk off it and everything but grow That's wise, their update anyway. Yeah, this that's is, a bit of an update. Um, this, competition this stuff your, we do tomorrow. Um, this is your entrance for. Yeah, which is about growers love and what uh, it means what, to yeah. us and well, meaning us really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I heard a huge, a huge dose of growers love. Um, I mean, I love to grow. I told you that much, and and um, quite a lot. For gardening experience and growing weeds in my brother's garden in Spain, but it's very different to growing indoors. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. Um, but um, when it comes to growers' love, we had a huge dose of growers' love when Stuart had his cardiac arrest early this year. Um, it was absolutely horrendous, and um, I actually told two people that was TJRA. Mr. Homemade Grow Box Man and aka Johnny because um, TJ was the winner of one of my competitions and uh, I just let him know because I was worried about him get, picking his prize and stuff so I just let him know that I wasn't sort of cheating Bloody him out of his prize him, yeah. yeah and uh, also Johnny I promised him some stuff for his, um, his rolling trays he does and stuff so um, I just wanted to get in touch with them, you know, and let them know. But I also told them to do it. And then the amount of messages we received was unbelievable. I was, just couldn't believe it. The amount of people that knew in the YouTube community that sent us messages, and, and that was that was an overwhelming dose of growers' love, and and, and yeah. it was really good. And I think it's helped Stu get better as well. I think it has. Because, well, um, it was only in the middle of September. Yeah. We cut ourselves off from a lot of people because yeah. um, 
We both are oh, not. I'm not going into this because I want a hard luck story and all that. We're both ex addicts. Um, we, when we went out to my brother's, we were fine, but when we come back, we got back into it a bit. When we came over here, and we sort of like pretty much been keeping ourselves to ourselves. We know a few people in the neighbourhood that we've been keeping ourselves to ourselves because we want to sort of. And we've been clean for nearly five years now. And in that time, Stuart had cancer, and people clear away when cancer comes about, unfortunately. When you don't know them that well, all the people that are lifelong friends, a lot of them are dead now. Ones that are alive that aren't using, we just feel so behind, like, um, like they're on like their sick paths or whatever. And, you know, like it's it just feel very different and um, I mean there's people I'm still in touch with but not they don't live close by. Um we haven't got much close by support. Both our par parents are quite elderly and my mum died five years ago and dad in his mid seventies. Yeah, and my my dad died the same year that Stuart's mum died and that's how we came about to stop using was yeah. his mum died. He decided he wanted to give up and I just supported him because we were sick of it all. So anyway, that's that. But um, what Grow and Starve means to me on YouTube is it's a signing off to sign into a comment. It's a comment. It means to me that I feel warm towards you. I feel like some people they give me big grins on my faces when I see their videos or like you see the penny dropping with somebody and they've learnt something or they um you feel for somebody like you feel like warmth for somebody and to me Grow's Love is, is a term for feeling warm towards somebody for some reason. Um, and feeling it back. Yeah, as well, you know feeling it back off other people and we've had a great deal of love from people yeah. on YouTube. Um, a lot, a whole lot. Yeah, a great deal. And yeah, even this week, crazy. alone in the last competition, I mean that, you know, we didn't do it for the sob story oh. and or anything, Ow. but the amount of love shown to Stu uh, and Anne. What cancer I had, that was all. Yeah. And I think a lot of people empathise, especially the males empathise with yeah. you know, to go through. Because you know where the camera goes, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> the camera goes down your pee hole. And exactly, it, it's and it ain't small. No. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but um, but there's been a lot of love and empathy. And empathy, that's another important thing. I mean... Empathy. I mean, I think you've got to have a lot of empathy to be a good grower because you've got to know like, how your plants are feeling and how they're struggling and stuff like that. And I think it teaches you a lot of empathy. What got me through my dad's death and not using was actually growing. I started doing the um, around the building here, like planting, um, planting um, vegetable, like vegetable patch. I started planting flowers around the building and stuff. Unfortunately, a year later, the kids started digging them up, got into pulling them all up and being you know, a bit... Because it is like projects in America, really, where we live. It's, it's quite a bad part of town. Um, and it's all like... Um, we it's not that bad. No, but it's classed as... Classed as... Like, it would be classed as... Classed as a... As a uh, yeah. Like, it's a council yeah, state. Yeah. In a city. Yeah. Um, but... um. Yeah, so yeah, we haven't got a garden at the moment. I was I was boring a garden last year, and I grew quite a lot of vegetables and stuff and, and tobacco. <laughs> but I didn't actually end up harvesting most of it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we've had quite a year of receiving growers' love, and I think giving growers' love as well, and giving support, and and you know, like you know, people. I think it's nice if you've if you've got a couple of friends and then you've got some friends and say, I've got one of them, you can have it all. You know, it's about giving and taking and I think there's such a big, lovely, great community on on YouTube, you know, people like 
greatest person means when I see guys I'm just want to be what show them how they do and they want to see how they get that go with people in general you know so show those people those people some things or what they've turned out like you know what plants they've turned into you know things like that Mutual respect, it's mutual respect, empathy, and and warmth, and and I find a lot of that on YouTube and in the growing community on YouTube, the WeTubers. So that that to me is what Grows Love is all about. And you know, if you haven't, if you've noticed no vids from someone for a few days, you know, just send them an email or send them a, a message maybe and see if they're alright. Okay, that's me, that's my dose of gross love for you lot. Gross love and peace out. Peace out guys. <laughs> Long way. Don't know where the camera is, does it? <laughs>